Promotional consideration furnished by the following. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Hollywood Squares. On Monday, bring your own hockey puck. Our center square for the week, Don Rickles, will be here on H2. Hollywood Squares. All right, uh, whose turn uh, was it when we went to commercial? Okay, I'm glad somebody's paying attention. <laughs> Jane Seymour, please. Jane Seymour. <laughs> Jane, when he joined the cast of Law and Order, Fred Thompson became the first TV series regular to simultaneously have what other job? Wasn't he discovered in a prison and that's where he worked? Discovered yeah. in prison. He was I working agree. in prison. No, he's a prisoner of another sort. He's been a senator until uh, <laughs> <laughs> his term uh, term wraps up in January here this month. He's shooting during his, his breaks uh, in the Senate. So X, uh, X gets a square. Richard Jenny for the win. All right, Richard for the win and another thousand dollars. True or false? Starbucks buys almost fifty percent of the world's coffee crop. That's false. I agree. That is false. They only buy about a 1%. X gets it on the win for another $1,000. Ed McMahon was our secret square. Nobody picked Ed, so Monday the secret square will be worth over $19,000. We have a $2,000 game now. Tammy, you could tie it up in one game, but Rick, you get to start. Ted Danson, please. All right, Ted. It has a pistol and a stigma where its reproduction takes place. What is it? Allen Iverson. <laughs> hey, basketball, basketball <laughs> jokes. Come on, they're good. Um, <laughs> a flower, a flower. I agree. A flower. A yes, flower. that's right. X gets the square, Tammy. Uh, Kathleen Madigan, please. Kathleen Madigan's at the Houston Last Stop in Houston, Texas, January 29th through the 1st of February. Kathleen, some of the imitators of this invention include the Hooper Duper. And the whoop de doo. What is it? I'm not sure, but I'm sure my mother would think it's a drug that the youngsters are taking. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hoopy hoop. Um, I'm going to say it's a frisbee. I disagree. Hula hoop is what it is. Uh, Circle gets that one. Rick. Jack A. Harry, please. Jack A., all right. Michael, uh, Michael Jackson's autobiography is named for something he does very well. What is it called? Cutting off my nose to spite my face. <laughs> Moonwalker. I agree. Moonwalk, yes. X gets the square. Tammy. Mia Thompson for the block for you. Leah for the block. <laughs> Leah, Harper's index reports that only 8% of people who regularly watch public funded television do this. Do what? Donate money. I agree. That's right. There's very few pledge. Yeah. Circle gets it. Yes, that's right. Rick. Richard Jenny for the block, please. For the block, Richard. Okay. True or false? True or false? The shampoo you're using becomes less effective over time because your hair gets used to it. No, it's like your hair is kind of going this again. <laughs> yeah, you kind of. Yeah. True or false? <laughs> if your hair has an active imagination, it can picture itself with a different shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, that's ridiculous. False. That's got to be false. I disagree. It, it's, it's an urban legend, not one of the biggest ones, but it is, uh, in fact, false. So I uh, can't give you that one, Tammy. you got to earn it yourself. Richard Jenny for the win, please. And a tie game, if you get it. Has an animal ever won an Academy Award? Uh, an animal is, yes, I, I think Babe the Pig won uh, an Academy Award. For a tie game. I agree. No. Oh. No. X gets the square. Oh. We are out of time. We've got two circles up there for $1,000 today. And what you won yesterday uh, added to that gives you $8,000 in our thanks for being here, Tammy. Thank thanks so much. Three X's up there. $3,500 means you're our new champion. Rick. Congratulations. Thank you, Steve. Want to play for a car? Absolutely. I was hoping you'd say Absolutely. that. Rick in the bonus round right after this. Stick around. Whoa.
and Rick, it's bonus round time. You've got uh, $3,500 in cash, but look over here, Rick. Nine keys. One of them will start what, Jeffrey Tambor? It's the new PT Cruiser Woolie! As practical as it is stylish, worth $23,920. All right, nice car. Now, after now, we found out a bit about what the stars know, Rick. Here's where we find out what you know about them. All right, uh, you'll pick a square. I'll read a statement about that star. If you agree or disagree correctly, you've won the square. At the end of 30 seconds, for every square you've won, we take away a bad key, improving your odds of starting the car. 30 seconds on the clock for a Rick. It starts ticking when you pick your first star. Carrot Top. Carrot Top filmed his last comedy special in Red Square. I agree. Wrong. Next. Rashamba. Was a judge on the sexiest bachelor in America pageant. I agree. Right. Next. Richard Jenny. Was gonged on the gong show. I agree. Wrong. Next. Jack A. Harry. Has served three times as queen of the Mardi Gras in New Orleans. I agree. Wrong. Next. Ted Danson. His first name never mentioned on Becker is Boris. I agree. Wrong. Next. Leah Thompson. Leah appeared in every Back to the Future movie. I disagree. Wrong. Next. <laughs> Jane Seymour. Jane's twin boys are named after Johnny Cash and Christopher Reeve. I agree. Right. Next. Ed McMahon. Well, all right, we are out of time. Let's go count some keys down here, Rick. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> right. Way too fast. You know what? It could still happen. We got two correct answers. Let's take away two of the bad ones. One of those seven will start this car. All Never right. owned a new car, this is the first one. All right, well, good luck, Rick. Hope this is. <laughs> come on, come on, baby, come on. Oh, no. uh, all right, come on out here, Rick. Let's find out which key would have started the PT Cruiser today. Which one would have done it? Dead center, dead center. <laughs> all right, here's the deal. Rest up over the weekend. Absolutely. We'll see you on Monday. You'll defend your championship. You take with you today, adding those two squares. $5,500 in cash. Fantastic. Not bad. Fantastic. Now, if you get back here on Monday, you'll start with only eight keys. All right? Fantastic. Want to take a moment to thank our center square this week, Ted Dance. It's been a pleasure, Ted. And on Monday, our center square, Don Rickles. It's going to be a great week. I'm Tom Bergeron. Join us for it, won't you? Next week on Hollywood Squares. Have a nice weekend yourself. This is Jeffrey Tambor, the voice of Hollywood Square, saying so long. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. Henry said this is really good. Hey, cut. I Did you know that he's my long lost brother? Yummy. No, it's good. We have the same last name? We do have the same last name. Yeah, he, he was the illegitimate son of my dad. Wow, uh, he made it with a redheaded stepchild. Tell dad I need some cash, man. Where, where's dad? <laughs> I think it's Ed McMahon.